channel it's Mary Doll Girl again here with Lazarus who apparently just got shy uh, so I am here with the BJD end of the year 2018 tag before we start I want to apologize I have gotten a cold sore I get them every once in a while and it just kind of makes you want to hide away but it is literally two days before Chris for Christmas <laughs> I want it to be Christmas again uh, till New Year's Eve so I figured I gotta get this done now so again I apologize so yes Lazarus is here with me and we are going to be doing the BJD end of the year tag so I'm 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 hoping I can do this okay uh, I wrote down the questions kind of hastily because my phone was pretty much dying so hopefully I got everything written down correctly so the first question is show us your BJD collection so <laughs> my BJD collection has diminished quite a lot since my well since my first video and then over the last year or so it's just kind of just blown up <laughs> everything is pretty much different so um, I'll just show you guys what I have right now for BJD's there are as you guys know uh, there's going to be two full dolls that I'm using the bodies for as well as a little doll no dream valley Anne, which is a little fox creature person kind of combination and um, yeah that's all but the big guys are expensive I find the big boys really really take up your budget oh uh, Ezreal, Ezreal Ezekiel Ezekiel is still supposed to show up I cannot believe that I forgot about Ezekiel probably because it's closing in on six months and I I'm not very patient when it comes to dolls I've had to learn to be patient but yeah, I'm getting really antsy, so. <laughs> so anyway, so we have Lazarus, who is a Nakagi doll, she Zia, she -Zi. I'm not going to pronounce it, uh, with Elaine face up, which I think he's just so beautiful. And he's wearing the fur little wolf ear wig love it and then his stop sushi time shirt and the little tail his pants are coming undone how indecent <laughs> and then we cannot forget the wonderful and famous Ziggy who is also an Akagi doll just let me get his little hat back on he is still dressed up for Christmas. I think that he does not want to admit that Christmas is over. So he is still dressed for Christmas. Hopefully I can convince him to wear something else. But for now, he is in his Christmas attire. So he is Nakagi Doll Lane with his original face up. So you can definitely see that the two have the same face up but how it looks different on different dolls so I just think it's super cool so two Akagi boys I love them I have nothing bad to say about Akagi dolls at all or the company I'm super impressed with it they usually take about two to three months and they have a girl a girl doll right now two girl dolls they're just not my style facially but um, but I am hoping someday I could get a body of theirs because the boys' bodies are ridiculously awesome. So I'm assuming the girls will be too. 
And then we have, I'm going to leave you for last, buddy. We have my doll in mind, Benit, Benit, Bell Loose Head, I think it is. She obviously is not painted, but I got her this year and I just think she's adorable. I'm not quite sure how she's going to look on a body. Her, her face is very childlike, so I'm not sure what she's going to look like on a mature body. But I'm hoping that she will turn out nicely. Because she's... I've always wanted that head, so... Then we have... Yeah. My absolutely stunning... Um, doll in mind Larissa with an amazing incredible face up by Bunny which if you guys saw my box opening I left her link down below whoops I can leave it down below here too so that you guys can find her I don't have a name for her yet And then this, oh, this gorgeous man is a little rebel Kalar sculpt again by um, face up by Bunny. I am waiting on a ring, ring blah, 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 a ring light, guys. It it should be here soon. Uh, Tammy from Tam Tam C ordered a day or two days. Or something like that after me and she already got hers so I'm hoping mine will show up soon but yeah he is amazing I can't wait to get eyes and his body I have not figured out a name for him as well well oh, there are. <laughs> and then as you all know this man followed me across the room and kept whispering at me that I needed to buy him, so I had to relent. So this is my Angel Toast Studio Raven Sculpt. And um, <sighs> sorry, my brain, I'm on some medication for my pain and with it, I lose um, my focus sometimes and, and we're trying to remember what I was trying to talk about. So, and names. <laughs> so this is Azriel. He is gorgeous. He, I saw him and he literally called to me. He does have some staining up here, which I'm not sure how to deal with because I really don't want... Um, Staining on him because he's just perfect, but I don't want to wreck the paint because Angel Toast herself painted him. So he's an Angel Toast Raven or Crow, I believe. Um, so yeah, he's incredible. So any bodies for them, and then my I left her up here because I just did not have the room for her, but the body that I have, the doll, uh, doll owl or something, body. So those are the dolls that I have right now. And I mentioned the dolls that I am looking to forward to getting. Um, so I am actually going to... I'll show the one that uh, I've made a, a video for because I was able to make a video for this one. And if you have watched my, the episode before this, you will know who I'm talking about. And if not, you can pause this video and go watch that and then come back if you really care. Um, so this is my doll uh, leaves. Pepper. She is a girl that I found on Instagram. 
she was a really good deal and she came with all sorts of amazing things including something I've wanted forever which is a Monstros Designs bat bag so she can be wrapped up in the bat bag um, but anyways she is she was I actually purchased her on a whim I like the price was right and I really have heard nothing but good stuff about doll leaves so I decided to go ahead and jump on it and then afterwards my husband is like you know what I want to buy that one too for you and um because we got a little bit back on our income tax so he wanted to spoil me uh he's always spoiling me <laughs> With not, not necessarily stuff, but with love and affection and all that sort of stuff. And that, of course, is the most important. But anyways, so here she is. I have not figured out, again, a name for her. I'm trying to kind of let them tell me what their names are. It is overwhelming, though, because I have at least one, two, three, four, five dolls that don't have names which is very upsetting um but anyway so she is a pepper sculpt and I just love her little moody face I am going to send her to bunny eventually when I have money <laughs> but I when I put her in all these different clothes that I have she just did not like anything except for the black wig and this cardigan and she loves these pants she likes black and very gothic colors she is kind of like whatever like just kind of she's she's a wonderful person but she's kind of cranky <laughs> a lot of the time so she's not necessarily understood but yeah I was like do I want a goth doll because I've tried before and they didn't really suit the goth look but I really think that she will she is just screaming goth to me so yeah and so I don't really have much for her to wear except for this because um, I never really had a good goth character in MSD, so that's why I never really had the opportunity to buy that kind of stuff, which was really frustrating because I love gothic punk rock kind of stuff, so it's nice to have her. There was only one issue with her when I got her, and it was nothing to do with the seller. Um, it was something I figured out when I was trying to pose her. So this will be Dolly Nudity. If you do not like Dolly Nudity, please just um, fast forward a little bit. So her hips are supposed to be able to come out. Let me pull it up. And, oops, that's not the right way. So you pull it up and there's a little groove there that holds, I don't think you can see well with this lighting, but there's a groove you kind of see it that the leg joint can sit on and she can hold like a, a really cool sitting up kind of pose like this well no matter how hard I tried I couldn't get this one to do the same thing and I didn't know why and then I was looking at it whoops I was looking at it and there's like no ridge there's like nothing to hold it at all so you can see that big ridge and this one does not have it it's a very 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 small indent but that's it so very <laughs> very irritating to not be able to play fully with your doll especially that's kind of the point for me was to get a really cool poseable doll for a, a very good price because even with um 
not paying what I paid. I know you can get them for under $200 and they pose like a dream, so definitely worth it. But yeah, that's really frustrating. So she's going to try and get some help from Denver Doll Emporium because that's where she bought it from. And everything else I love about her, but her hands do not really do much of anything because it's it's not really a ball joint because well I guess it's a ball but the hand is attached to the ball so you can't you can only move it like this and not really up and down so for everything else being so poseable it's weird that, that that's not poseable and so then do you I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to, no, I'll, I'll show you guys to her now. Okay. I was going to make you guys wait, but I guess I'm not going to make you wait. So then the other girl that I got was a resin soul. Yao. And she is in normal skin with gray legs. So I wanted to have kind of like her separated because this part is supposed to be like the, the goat part. And then this part is hers, the human half. So I wanted that kind of distinction. I did want to do a box opening with you guys, but since I got her for Christmas, I couldn't. Um, my in-laws are not comfortable with me videotaping. Um, but yeah, so she's really neat. She has like these hooves. I did ask for them to be black so I wouldn't have to paint them. And honestly, it's really worth the extra bit of money to get the different colors because um, this is actually black resin. It's not, it's not painted, so it should theoretically hold up better over time than if you just got it all one color and then painted it. So I think I paid 200 bucks for her plus $20 shipping, which for kind of like a custom one, I'm not upset about that. And she came with horns and they are white. I just think I left them somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I got the white horns the gray bottom half and then the black hooves. So I, I again, I tried on a, a bunch of stuff on, she's kind of floppy forward. Uh, I tried a bunch of stuff on her as well and she did not like anything except for this outfit. So <laughs> it's awesome because these pants, actually I got them from Guppy Kisses and she, I love them, but I didn't know who would be able to wear them with it looking right and correct and everything. And I did try them on other dolls and they just really didn't work. And I was kind of sad because I liked them, but they weren't really doing it for me on any other dolls. And then I put them on her because I thought it would kind of look cool. And it helps because she's very, she's very thin wasted and not really much hips at all and then she has like a bigger uh, head so I felt like this made her proportions look a little bit more um, proportionate I guess not to say you can't have a big head and a small body but, but I, I just like it better and then she's got this shirt on the Ramones and uh, a little button by my friend so yeah, and then this this wig, it just, it's, I put it on and it suited her perfectly. It is from Monstros uh, Designs as well. She has purple eyes that are, let's see if this looks better yet, purple eyes that are actually Dolphy Dream eyes. So they, they actually work, or not the Dolphy Dream. No, maybe these are the ones that I ordered off Wish. But like that kind of anime style. And they actually looked really cool on her. And so when I put her with my doll leaves Pepper, they just look like they would be best buds. And I think that 
I'm thinking of making her either uh, pastel goth, but then she would have to wear pastels, and I don't really think she's pastel gothish. That's just my, my daughter thought maybe that, but I don't know if it will suit her because she likes the black. I was thinking maybe more punk rock because she likes the the crazy bright hair, but then sort of like the the more interesting kind of dark clothes, and then that would kind of tie them together a little bit. But yeah, so I'm I'm nervous and excited, and I'm hoping that that will work. So yes, that is my BJD collection at the end of this year. I will not be getting any other BJDs until next year. I really did think that Ezekiel would be here, but that's okay. We'll have something in the new year to look forward to as well as my other ones. So I hope you guys will stay for this part. It's not BJD related, but this is the presents that I got this year from my family. So obviously the two dolls that I just showed you are from my husband and my kiddos and yeah I love them I I really am very very lucky because my husband supports my hobby um, if there's anything that he can do so that I can get a doll um, you know go see friends that to have to do to do with dolls go to doll meets and all that sort of stuff he always supports me he watches the kids he's He's just awesome. So that's what I got from my my kiddos and my family. And then from my in-laws, I got a pair of pajamas, a picture frame, and the newest Rick Riordan. Not Rick Riordan. Not that I don't love Rick Riordan. He's amazing. But um, Ransom Riggs. I'm going to blame my medicine. <laughs> Ransom Riggs is an incredible author. I adore his books. The um, Miss Peregrine's Home for the Peculiar Children. I love that series. It's an incredible series. And this book is the continuation of the three books in the series. So I'm super excited to read that. Um, and then from... Wow, I'm getting so mixed up. I'm so sorry, guys. I <laughs> This is, I'm, it's chaos. I shouldn't have put two things in the same video. I think that I should finish this part before I go on with the rest of it. Okay, best thing that happened to you in the BJD doll hobby. I have to say... It is definitely, I'm going to get all like mushy, so I warn you guys, but it really is the friends that I've made through this channel. It's, it's opened up my world. It's opened up my experiences with, with just amazing, amazing people. I wish that I could meet you all. You know, if I have a plane ticket, I will come anywhere. Um, but I got to meet Jess, Halloween heartthrob. So that was incredible. I love her so much. Um, so, and then getting to know and being coming close with my friend Raquel off of the channel. Um, we're like sisters now. Like, it's just... The friends that I've met, I, I want to name you like all of my different friends that I have made on here, but I know with my brain working the way it is right now that I will not um, remember everybody's name um, or I will forget somebody. Uh, but to my Patreons, you have not only supported me with your words and your love and your kindness, but also financially to help me make this channel better and I just from the very bottom of my heart I thank you for taking 
you know, your hard-earned money and, and risking it on me. So thank you guys so much for that. So yeah, that is definitely what's the best thing in this whole hobby for this year for me, was definitely getting to know you guys and really opening up my circle of people that I love with my heart. So, so <laughs> cheesy, I know. Um, so three favorite things you got this year. So no, sorry. Number three, favorite things you got this year or made. I find it just too hard to, to say what is my favorite. I don't remember when every of my dolls came into, so I don't want to say a certain person or a certain doll and then realize that that's not the doll that I got this year or what have you. Um, I've just, I've been blessed with so many things. I mean, look at the dolls I have back there. They're awesome. My Ziggy, my Lazarus, like, I love them all. I would say that Ziggy has a very special place in my heart. I don't remember if I got up this year, though. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I think I got him this year. Um, so he's probably going to be one of my favorite, uh, things I got this year, but I can't remember. And obviously my beautiful heads that got repainted, my beautiful Azriel. I mean, oh Lord, why do I have to choose? <laughs> and then my new year's resolution for the hobby. No. Um, I think just continuing, continuing, continuing to push myself to try new things, not be so difficult and hard on myself. I'm still going to try and practice doing rave paints. Um, I'm probably, I'm, well, I can't say never, but I don't see myself being a repaint artist, but I am proud to, to keep trying. Um, so I resolved to, to keep trying and do new things. Um, yeah, just open myself up to more new things and put myself out there more. Um, and kind of learn to, I guess this is not for the hobby, but just kind of learn to like myself. I think that's important. So yes, that, after much confusion, is... The BJD 2018 collection tag. So, let's move on to my other Christmas stuff before I completely forget what I'm talking about. So, one of the presents that I got from my dear friend Dean was shortbread, which is amazing. Uh, an adorable little box that I don't know where I put it somewhere safe and now I can't remember where. And then he got me this book by Jody Taylor. It's A Second Chance, The Chronicles of St. Mary. It's, I think, book three. Yes, 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 yes. It's book three. So I love this series. If you haven't read it, it's a time travel organization. And they kind of have to go back in time to... They go back in time to witness things. They go back in time to study things, they go back in time for all these reasons, and there is like murder and intrigue and just so many different things. And there's like 10 or more of these books. So excellent series if you're looking for that sort of thing. I am obsessed with time travel. One of my, one of my favorite movies as well as Jurassic Park is the Back to the Future. I personally like the first and the second one the best, the second one is my absolute favorite, but just being able to, the thought of being able to time travel is so, it's so amazing and tempting. I wish I could do it kind of a thing. I would love to go back and just kind of see history. So definitely a good book. And then, so you guys know that Tammy, Tam Tam C is my best friend. And she always spoils me rotten. And this year was no different. For Christmas, 
she got me a couple of things more than a couple so the first thing is so these can sometimes fit the SD or they can fit my um, badly haired little 18 inch girl so it's a mermaid outfit I love the tail then another one in rainbow so pretty I need a tail <laughs> a mermaid tail not another kind of tail although it might be helpful for balance um, a little top to go with it and then rainbow bright a little rainbow bright pop isn't that awesome it was so funny when I opened it because I'm like oh my gosh but this is the one you wanted and she's like well I know I got one and um, I get uh, then they had two so I was able to get one for you so I was like yay I need to show you guys my pop collection sometime and then I love Golden Girls how can you not love Golden Girls just awesome show so she got me uh, dwarves the Golden Girls vinyl collectible so there's Dorothy I want the pops too someday I will have the pops too uh, Rose and Blanche and she said she felt so bad because Sophia is pretty much my favorite and they did not have Sophia so I said well don't worry about it I'll just look online and I'm sure I'll be able to grab it between 50 and uh, and 80 dollars for Sophia so that's not happening but still love them still super excited about them and then this has to be my favorite thing that she got me da, 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 da. so this is a build-a-bear beast from the new live-action Beauty and the Beast we both love Beauty and the Beast and when we saw this guy at the Build-A-Bear we were like oh my goodness like we want that so much but of course the price of Build-A-Bear it was not gonna happen and then we went to um, a disc like an outlet mall and he was there once again and he but he was on a special buy one get one for like half off or something so Tammy's like do you want one and I'm like yeah but I just I don't have the money and she's like well what if I buy it for you for Christmas and I'm like no way and she's like yeah and I'm like really okay <laughs> so so yeah here's my beast so I've been cuddling with him at night time and yeah so yeah, that is my Christmas haul. That is my end of the year BJD tag. Again, I apologize for the erratic brain and not remembering to do things in order, but hopefully you guys still enjoy this tag. Um, please stay tuned. I will have the 1,000 subscriber giveaway um, video coming up really soon. Uh, if I don't get it done today, then I will get it done by next weekend. I hope you guys are going to be happy with what I've decided to do. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to do everything electronically this time around just because 
with everything going on illness wise and my husband going back to school and all that sort of stuff I just do not want to commit to going to the post office and and mailing something that um, will just cause me a lot of stress so I'm gonna do an electronic gift certificate idea so hopefully you guys still like that and yeah so love you guys so much I'm sorry this is such a long video but I hope you enjoyed it and if you stayed to the end I really appreciate it please make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and yeah I love you guys I hope you guys have an amazing new year and I will be here right with you so see you next year bye